It is so cool to talk about this series. It's a great, I feel like, it, you know, we're getting ready for fall. This feels like a fall series to me. Yes. You know, Emily, starting with you, what do you think compels Suzanne to bring her into her home? And, you know, is it is it mostly a good deed or do you think there's more to it? What do you think convinces her? Well, as this, as the show goes on, you kind of, you'll learn more about Suzanne's background and there's some clues there about why she, you know, is so determined to save, you know, May. And um, when it's a real ethical breach for a psychiatrist to bring a patient home, that's when I talked to a psychiatrist when preparing for the role, she said, if this wasn't inspired by true events, I would say this would never happen because it's just a huge ethical breach. But um, as the show goes on, you are it's revealed more about Suzanne's past and where she might have some um, blind spots um, that makes her want to really save May. Um, uh, and, you know, that said, I'm sure every psychiatrist wants to help save certain patients, right? But um, there's supposed to be some boundaries up, but Suzanne kind of forgets about those a little bit and you'll see why later on. Yeah. On the show. Well, Madeline, it, it, it's such a bold character. May is just so moody and there's so much to work with here. How did you connect with her? Because there are moments, I mean, the music and camera angles add a lot of force, but she's, she's so bold. She's a little scary and she's <laughs> broken. Yeah. I think, yeah, connecting with that um, kind of brokenness and um, just really, really figuring out like what makes her tick, why she's doing what she's doing. I think ultimately she's a survivalist. And as the series goes on, we start to understand, you know, what the motivation is behind everything that she does. And for me, that was just like, I love playing someone who's dark and moody and who are not sure quite what is happening because that gives me so much like different layers to kind of play with and bring out at different times, which the writing also like helped do. And then, you know, having a great scene partner like Emily um, to to go on the on the journey with um, was just was was really cool. And uh, it was fun to do research and get to just like explore such a unique character in person. Well, Emily, that's something I'm curious about the research here, because you, you're dealing with a lot, really, with this character. There's a lot of information. What was the research like to get into this role and this this story? Yeah, so I mean, I were I I spoke with a psychiatrist before even starting <clears throat> my work as an actor on it because I wanted to understand what that was and hmm. what you know what your what a regular psychiatrist's day is like, etc. And then we talked also about why May behaves that way and how a psychiatrist would look at that patient in that way and. Um, so it was really helpful. I, I think that was the best research for me was the was um, talking to the psychiatrist about that. And then I, I've always been fascinated by cults. So um, I, I looked into, you know, more of the insular cults as well, because I, I, you know, watch a lot of documentaries about other types of cults. So this is a different type of cult that we dive into here. But um, yeah, I, and then just you know, building the character and knowing the history, we were able to have all the episodes before we started. And so that was really helpful to know where we're going and what is revealed about each character. So things are revealed about Suzanne, my character um, later on. And so that was really helpful to have that and to know her history and to build on that and have that internalized while working. Well, the last thing I'll ask quickly is, you know, working on something like this, do, do, you, do you get a certain mood? Do you, do you get any of this mood that we're getting, you know, watching it? Or, or what was that like on set? We get into the mood while we were on yeah, set? It, it's pretty <laughs> spooky. I mean, it, it yeah. felt pretty spooky watching it. <laughs> I mean, I feel like um, I feel like we were like laughing in between takes. I mean, I feel like I can shed it at the end of the day. I mean, there were some moments with May where it was definitely very, very emotional, and sometimes you had to take a little deep breath. But um, I think ultimately, like, it was pretty chill. I don't know. What, what about you, Emily? <laughs> we kept it pretty much between action and cut. I think yeah. I think we were pretty good about that. And I always have thought that you. I don't. My experience has been a lot of times you laugh more doing dramas or something really serious <laughs> off camera. Sometimes 
is when you go visit certain a comedy. I haven't done a ton of comedy in my life, but sometimes they're so serious off, off camera. They take it so seriously. The getting those jokes right sometimes the comedies they're so serious off camera. So my this one lined up with that theory of you know you we were having fun. It was weird though during COVID. We were shooting up mm. in Vancouver area, and we were like you know the masks and everything. We were scared. Uh, so out. much to even <laughs> hang out outside so we literally didn't hang out at all like, until the end like I hung out with a couple of friends who were working there uh but not with any cast members because we were mm-hmm. scared to do anything because they told us not to like go near each other exactly. unless we were on camera basically and so it was kind of that wasn't very fun but um but we were able to laugh a little bit but yeah we got the sense of the mood for sure. Yeah. And, but a lot is done with the camera angles and, mm-hmm. you know, when we're shooting, it's there, you know, if I had a scene off, I watched Ted Lasso. If I had like an hour to walk <laughs> with the trailer <laughs> and then I would like, yeah. I feel like a really emotional scene is May. I'd like go turn on Ted Lasso. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you really need to just let things go. And, yeah. Know, check out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both so much for the time. It's amazing chatting. The series is fantastic. Thanks. Thank so nice you. Talking with you. Yeah, lovely. Have a great you. day. Yeah.